we get agenda today, Theora? Today, we specifically got together just so we could finish watching Blank the Series. It is the finale. I cannot believe we made it here. <laughs> Me either. Yes, I flew all the way just to watch this with you. Just for this, so thank you, Blank the Series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm channeling my big nung today. I before I got here, I went into a store and was like, WWNW. No, WWBNW. <laughs> what would big nung wear? And the answer is oversized button down with a tough top knot. <laughs> yeah, it's not oversized enough, but you know what? Whatever. Yeah. So we're in the spirit of things. I, I was supporting America because it's 4th of July today <laughs> when we're filming this. But anyway, okay, so before we get into actually watching this, do we need to recap where we're at, Caitlin, for you? Uh, no, I actually know where we are. Okay. Um, little, little known is going through it. We're in the hospital Correct. because Big Known called in the radio station. Correct. And basically said their story. And then right. the radio announcer's like, if she's listening, do you have anything to say to her? She's like, no. no. <laughs> okay, well, what if she wasn't listening? What would you say? And then she finally poured her heart out. Big dumbass. Yeah, no, okay. So predictions going into this. Have not seen the show. I mean, have not read this part of the book. No, we have no, not seen the show. <laughs> no spoilers from the show. Have not seen it. So this is the first time watching it. Okay, so predictions going into it. You can see how much of a clown we were at the end. Okay, I think because Big Nung was being selfish in her mind when she said, I love you over the radio, because, like, again, no, she's like, no, don't say anything if she's listening, because she didn't want to influence her go to America or whatever. So I think, like, she is not leaving that hospital, is, like, the bottom line. I think she's going to be so fucking guilty and think it's her fault, because she's going to be like, well, if I didn't say anything, she wouldn't have got hit by the car, we wouldn't be here. So there's no way in hell she's leaving that hospital. But I think that her family, like, Lil Nung's family is going to be pissed. And I think perhaps they will be like, you can't be in her room because you're not family. You're the outsider. It's your fault. So I think that she's going to, like, basically live in the hospital that and be, be guilty. And then I think this is where Dr. Juan Viva comes back. And I think this is why she's such a big part of the show. Because she's going to be somehow involved in Lil Nung's care. She's going to take her to the on-call room. Um, but not, not in the Grey's Anatomy style. No. <laughs> No, I think that she's going to be involved in the care of Lil Nung. And I almost wonder if we're going to get a 23.5, the novel scene, where basically, like, there's some kind of conversation about the queerness. And, like, it comes up where it's like, okay, well, would you like a queer daughter or do you want her dead? Because those are your options. Like, what do you prefer? Because this is the situation that we're in, basically. Like, I think, like, uh, Lil Nung's family has to come with to terms with who she is, or they just, like, fuck this forever. And anyway, yeah, I think I, I'm ready for the pain in the beginning of this. I feel like it'll be happy at the end, unless we get some weird twist where Lil Nung does die, and then it turns into a completely different story. <laughs> like, Big Nung goes on this, like, revenge mission against drunk driving or whatever. <laughs> like, it would be a really weird ending. They're like, what? Where Big this Nung's world? against drunk driving. Big Nung. ML's against drunk driving. And she, like, gets Sam roped in, and it's, like, this whole thing. <laughs> I don't think that's what I, That's my clown moment, but, like, yeah, I think Big Nung, by the way, is not leaving that hospital. I don't think little... Do you think Little One goes to America? Yes or no? No. I don't think she goes to America. I still think Ping Fa's gonna stop that. I think she's the one set up to, like, stop that shit. I just, I really want a conversation between the mom and the daughter about being in love with the thing. <laughs> I feel like that has to happen eventually, but, like, we have to resolve the family drama yes. first. I think Chet will never accept this. Ping Fa, I think, is going to be the one that stops it. And Grandma is just a bitch. <laughs> just a bitch. <laughs> She's just a bitch. I don't know how to say. I don't think she has a heart, so I don't see her, like, saving with that here. Not the way they've written her in the show, anyway. She's written as, like very controlled. She doesn't want her, you know, little Nung to turn into her mother, and she's so afraid of that that I don't, I don't. And she also really hates Nung. Like, she truly hates Nung, but she puts up with her because she's royalty. Yeah. So I don't see that her coming around. <laughs> I see Pink Bob being like, okay. I don't think I can top any of your theories. Yeah. I think it's gonna end happy, though. That's my assumption. I mean, I would assume. 
you never assume. You never know. It's blank. You never know. There that could be true. some like watch the stepdad come and that really like from America and like fucks up everything. You know what I mean? There what could if be some someone's a twin. Right. There's a twin. Yeah, you never know. Like at the last last minute twin in the finale. Little Nunk has a twin. Oh gosh. No. Oh, and it's the um. What is it? Is it affair or secret? Uh, someone's in a coma. And the twin that's sister takes secret. over. That's Pluto, isn't it? Pluto? Yeah. Which, I don't think that's going to happen because they're reading Pluto in this book, in this show. But, uh, same author. So, you never or, know. You never know. Or, you know how, like, some murderers, like, read books and then take it from there? I'm some just... twins might read books and, like, get ideas from that. Yeah, it's possible. Yes, I am. All right, are you ready to get into this? I am. I'm surprised they let her get that far. Yeah, me too. She is dying on the internet. I'm telling you, she's gonna be so guilty. She thinks it's her fault. I'm surprised she even made her made it in time to get that her. What I'm saying. Also, what does that ring mean? <laughs> the thirteen ring that she wears all the time. I always wonder that. It appeared after the grandmother, the granddad died, and I don't know what that ring means that she wears. If anyone knows, what does Nung's third, the mom of the Roman numerals for 13, what does that mean? She's number one. Where did 13 come from? Who's 13? Is that a snitch for another book that I don't know about? It's a great shot, though. I mean, it's a shot of big nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shot. Oh, well, hold on, I got a body. Wait, you know, how did they know about this? Yes, they do that, like, for they was all listening to the radio. She already feels this. Yes. You've known her for two weeks. I know, I just, it's ridiculous. She's known her longer than both of you. You're disgusting. Again, her sister is Sam. Why is this so shocking? I want them to throw a pride parade at the end. I want Jim to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I need her to throw hands with some bitches. Throw hands with them. Less. Ooh, ooh, I wasn't she... taking any of this from her. Good job, no. She is great. Fighting for yourself. And no, she's fighting for Finally. Well, that's not true. <laughs> that's that was that's that was that's ego. Sense. That's amigo. <laughs> that's a lot. We saw you again. These are lies. She's really good. I know. <sighs> Faye is the master of hovering tears. How we made all the way, mom? Because they think they're also perfect. Also, I feel like this is everything Nun wanted to say to her grandmother about Song. That's true. That's part of what this is too. She's like, "Why do I carry all the guilt for Song? You played a part in that too." Where's your words now, Chet? Yeah, bitch. Oh, oh my god, she's begging. <laughs> oh, god. Thank god, girl. Are you so jealous? <laughs> that was cold. Do we have this whole conversation again? I know, right? <laughs> Somebody record that shit. <laughs> she gonna slap none? Yep, yeah. of course. <laughs> it's <laughs> like she, they think <laughs> she was <laughs> driving <laughs> the car. <laughs> Honestly, that's not bad. Forget it. How did she break her arm? She got hit in the torso. Anyway, that's when she fell. Yeah, I guess, but no rib fractures. That seems pretty mild. Good for you. It's just she's young. She'll bounce back. Got a great heart rate. You're doing great. Those are good vitals. I'm surprised she's not traked. For those watching, anyway. Fior is a doctor. <laughs> I'm really honest. surprised. Like, yeah, she's getting more access than I guess they, uh, yeah. they're starting to feel guilty as well. I thought they're gonna leave her in the waiting room. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, girl, look at all those tears. Yeah, and there's the five that whole ball. See, she's the one that's most like compassionate. Because she gets it. <laughs> she's gonna stand outside the hospital. I'm pretty sure she's hospital. just gonna live in the lobby. Get to know all the nurses. <laughs> I sure have amnesia. That would be like oh my god, such a blank move. That would be, but with one, not even a whole episode left. <laughs> I'm sorry, the lyric. I don't want to shut tears yeah. as she's actively sobbing. I don't like what that. Was sad. <laughs> You're happy. I stop lingering, this director, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is she on a ventilator? 
Like for <sighs> airway protection. You know, I can't because it just doesn't make sense. Couldn't, couldn't like her airway. She's <laughs> I love how Sam has spies in the palace. <laughs> good job, Sam. Sam's such a good sister. She's a dumbass. She's a very good She's a dumbass. She is a dumbass. I love her, though. I do love how close they got. Okay. So that went faster than I thought, although we have one episode left. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to go pretty fast. I was shocked that Nung said all of that to them. Yeah, me like, too. I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of her. Now, if she could say it to Little Nung, that'd be great. Because Little Nung needs to hear all that shit. Yes. She keeps being like, but I, I think. Oh, no. They were outside the room. Because I feel like Little Nung can hear them. It's possible. She hears things in the coma. Mm -hmm. And then, But no, she was in surgery when that was happening. She yeah. didn't hear any of that shit. I know, they, but she could probably hear what they're saying now. Like, like, wow, my parents really. And I feel dicks. like there's gonna be um, flashbacks to what they were saying when of she course. wakes up. We have to have flashbacks. Yeah. So, um, and then she's gonna be like, "How could you? Like, she loves me." And... I just hope she remembers and she doesn't have amnesia because that would be. Oh fucking yeah, weird. I forgot that was also a theory. <laughs> I don't know if that's really gonna happen, but yeah. Okay, so little Munstool in the coma. No one deserves to slap every single one of those family members. I'm sad that she's the one that got slapped because she deserves to slap all of them. I think, um, well, first of all, Little Nung had a very easy job so far in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbo got it made. Just lay there and go to sleep. I really funny she was actually asleep during that scene and that's why her eyelids are fluttering. <laughs> the actors is just asleep. Like, <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I'm sure she'll have some acting her ass off in like part four. <laughs> Whenever she wakes up. Yeah. Anyway. You're ready for part the two. The thing is, I swear the thumbnail for that part was the t two of them hugging or something. I don't. I Way think, to ruin it. Yeah. No. In the first one. Oh. Uh, the first one? Yeah. The first I didn't part. see any of the thumbnails. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Ready for part two? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. See, look, the lighting source only has a transition. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Nine Star Director. Is oh, that shit? Oh, is she reliving the time when Nung came over? Because that was the yeah, thing she Yeah. Okay. That's cute. That works. That's really cute. That's so cute. Are they going to let you in? That is the major question. But also, they left her alone? I mean, Dad's going to work. Although, what's the grandmother doing? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Because what is the grandmother doing? <laughs> but I will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I will cut a bitch. Did you remember my grandmother? I'm not about fighting old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got hit because she wasn't looking. Yeah, that was dumb when she did. Yes. Thank you, Nang. Speak of the fucking truth. <laughs> How dare you? It's true. It is true. Bitch. Can you slap her? Because, like, I'm done. Literally. She's so annoying right now. I understand she's upset, but she's super fucking annoying. Aww. Thank you, Pinkfa. Thank you. Aww. Why is the passage of time? I never know when these shows. <laughs> I think we're supposed to count how much food she's brought. That's fair. I think it's maybe like five days to a week. Come to come down call. Oh, <laughs> she's a demon. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we should yell at her to leave. So that's that's progress. In, uh, that is a lot of progress for her. In your grandmother land. Oh, she put. Oh, she let her do it. Oh, wait. Damn, what? what the hell is how happening? How long has it been? <laughs> like, what was in that food? <laughs> has it been a year? All right. Also, the nurses should be doing this. <laughs> they shouldn't. Maybe she them. really did buy the hospital, and, she now the she, hospital. and she bought herself a doctor at Stanford. I agree. That's what this shot Aww. is for. Oh, that's actually cute. That I don't understand how we got here. No, though. I don't get it. Like, that was really random. And more fun of this Oh, there God, was, three months, months later. How long was this coma? <laughs> Medically, what is wrong with this girl? Because this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Drama. Uh, but Chet has- we have not seen Chet. Yeah, fuck Chet, because he doesn't care about her. He doesn't. He cares about status. Correct. 
I don't know if I want this scene. I know Chet's in it. I don't want any of his scenes. Can you turn back time? I want to do the job with your dad. I'm glad that you did that as well. Check it out, by the way, though. In the coma or coma? So yes. So gay. It's seen from Mars. But the super gayness that that was not you. What she did was for your child. I'm sorry, it took a fucking coma for you to realize this. And three months in a coma. Wow, I never thought he'd get here. Yeah. Like I'll hate you forever, but also take care of her. And weirdest relationship ever award goes to these two. It's like, yeah, we were gonna get married. Right. She's with my daughter, and I was super homophobic. But then I was like, and she almost died. Still not one diva. I don't understand why you have a doctor friend if she doesn't show up at the hospital. Does she work? Okay, that's the thing. Does one diva actually work? Because she's never working on the show. No, always eating. Yeah, I don't think she's always shopping, eating at galleries. I don't think she's actually a doctor. I think that's a lie. <laughs> she's just pretending. To she's be pretending a... to be a doctor. Which is fine, man. You just do what you gotta do. Uh, okay, cool. So we've resolved basically Anung's family shit. How? I don't know. For three months in a coma. That is how we resolved it. No, because the plan was beforehand. Like, just she was clipping her toenails. That's all she had to do. I mean, Nung is proving that she loves her granddaughter, so like, I guess. Yeah, it's just, it feels like it flipped overnight. It did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over a coma. Yeah, so I feel like little Nung has to wake up. Yeah, yeah. We're and, halfway through the right. final episode. It's Can gotta be in the. I, I think part Nung. three is like, also like, what is medically wrong with her that it took three months and all she was a broken arm? It doesn't make sense medically what the hell's going on with her. Why do people go in comas? Usually they're like it's some kind of organ failure shit. Um, and that's why I'm like, why isn't she on like a respirator? It doesn't make sense. Like anyway, it's uh, they probably couldn't get the equipment honestly for the the show. Or, it's too expensive. It was probably it probably is expensive. Yeah, but they were just like, fuck it, it'll obscure her face and be weird. And so it would have been more dramatic if they had her like on a ventilator. Yeah, that's what I mean. And usually, like in that case, she would have gone into surgery, been on a ventilator, came out on a ventilator, and been on sedation, and then they have to like come off the sedation to be able to breathe on their own and things like that. So it's like weird that she's functioning all on her own, but she's still in a coma, which is odd for three months. Anyway, it's for the drama. I understand. <clears throat> just I don't understand what happened to her car crash. It just seems pretty minor for a car crash, and uh, but she's in a coma for three months. <laughs> it's a very soap opera. Right? That's fine. Okay, so things are looking like weirdly up. Why don't I get out of this coma and just like watch amnesia be a thing? Then they're like, time jump. Six I years. feel like you want amnesia at this point. <laughs> I'm like, what's the rest of the drama? Because like things are getting way too resolved in the second part. Yeah, that's that's why I'm nervous because it's blank. I'm like, because, what like, curveball? Are they're not just gonna make it happy the rest of the time. That's what I mean. They're on an upward trajectory, or are they? And that's the that's that's how they fool us all with the because something. It's the second to last part. It's the penultimate part. This is the penultimate part exactly. So, what's the drama? I think she wakes up. That's the drama. Yeah, it has to it be. It has to be. Or, like, the hospital catches on fire. Something weird has to happen. Something weird I can't predict will happen. Or she wakes up. Or both. It's blank. And then also, when she wakes up, she is stuck in that in the past with what happened. That? Also, she hasn't moved in three months. So she has to go to rehab after this. There's no way oh. she just goes home. She has to, like, walk again and, like, that kind of stuff. I do not know enough. About, I didn't even think about. Dude, her that. muscles are atrophying and shit. Like, there's no way she just goes home. Oh, they'll watch that. See what happens. They'll be like, okay, okay. let's go. <laughs> they did not talk to medical care professionals. They did not. Don't quote me on that though. Mm, I'm no. just, I'm just assuming, based on what I'm seeing. Anyway, okay, ready for part three? Yes. Let's do it. See, she's living at the hospital. I knew it. <laughs> Sam, you would do it if it was mom. Oh yeah. Sam, what about the hospital? <laughs> She would have made a hospital in the palace. What is it? Yeah. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. Did little Nong call from the hospital? That would be so funny. No, no, it's it's a different thing. Yes, she did. Oh, thank you for the question. 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 
Then I have so What? Sam, what? No, where are you going? It's Sam. Sam's a dumbass. I'm oh, explaining yeah. this already. Oh, okay. Sam is probably still listening to this. Like, I don't understand. How the hell? Yeah, like, seriously. <laughs> you guys are the most dramatic toes ever. She's just still on the call and everything's still playing on the radio. Right, and they're like, ma'am. Oh my god, how nice. <laughs> What's the time jump? <laughs> you do. Oh my. No. I'm no, so happy about it. <laughs> why are you smiling at my sadness? So that's why you don't want to wake up? Dream Nung was better than real. That's <laughs> also an insult. No. I think it's because of the outside pressure. I'm hanging on that. Okay. Well, damn. <laughs> oh, stop. Did they go back to the beach? I feel Do like they get married on the beach? I feel like we're gonna get another Isle Lesbos. Is Isle Lesbos situation like a gap? Maybe Jim will be there. Just I'm holding out hope for Jim. Yeah, I have know. not seen Jim in the series. Listen, but Jim's this show would be up. the time for Jim to show up. Something LGBT is gonna definitely happen at this beach house because that's a very bookend situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either they have a spontaneous marriage or proposing of sorts is going to happen. That's my assumption. Unless it's a lantern festival and we're going full blank, uh, full gas yeah. series. <laughs> You're like, come on, Sam, why are you guys doing here? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like their anniversary or some shit. And Sam's like, what do you mean? You know I bought this island. Oh, yeah, right? Sam's like, this is my island. <laughs> Sam would. She's like, Mon, dude, It's like, you bought the hospital, literally. I bought the island. All Mon would have to say is like, I really love it there, Sam. And she's like, I already bought it, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I would hate to see their finances because I feel like Mon yells at Sam a lot about her like extravagant spending. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, I can't say I like anything, Sam, because you'll just go buy everything. Yeah, it's like, like Sam, I touch things to make look at it. I doesn't mean I want it. Right, exactly. It's like I bought twenty, and it's like, God damn it! No, she would definitely buy the island. That's what I mean. So the Nung is freeloading at Sam's island. Also checks out. <laughs> It's like, girl, you got money now. She's like, whatever, but it's free. <laughs> Old half its don't die hard. All right. Damn. Final episode. Are you ready? Final, Final part. Final part. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't believe this is the last part. I know. Part. I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, I really sure. love. I literally love this show. Oh! oh four four years! years! Good. You <laughs> sound <laughs> like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Finally, we're using technology. That's great. Is she playing Nintendo? Yeah. The cake and the ice cream can compete with our sweet. So like Switch. Oh, I love that. I feel like she just intentionally killed her. Oh, they're holding hands on the beach now. Upgrade. It's been four years. She doesn't tie her shirts in it. I think Zima will add me shot. I've never done this thing before, but okay. Come on now, you can do it. You've come this far. Also, did you want to ask her? Yeah, <laughs> like, you don't just show it. So they just got married, basically. They got, we don't have marriage laws yet married. They do now. They do now. Oh my god, it's Ow! legally binding! Oh my gosh, that's, a, that's a more legal than an actual marriage. It is, actually. I was like, that should be a time jump right there. Yeah, you know, that cut. What oh, is? 16 oh years my later. gosh, that's cute. How many you have a deal at Mong Sao, huh? What? What? She would never. How old she? She's like right now. Because yeah. 20 years have passed. It's interesting that they yeah. chose to show this. I know, it's cute. It's hard. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Oh, we get their first meeting? That's so cute! Hey. She's younger. Yeah, she's like, oh. Yeah. Wow, so she just is like, we're friends. I don't care yeah, what you say. <laughs> okay, actor did a great job yeah, at yeah. watching the younger. Yeah. That was cute. 
cute. I really so like that we got cute. that big of a time jump at the very end. Because it's interesting. Because with that big of an age gap, people Correct. are probably going to argue like, oh, well, oh, when they're, they're older, yeah. they're... But they were like, no, this this loves forever, bitch. Yeah, because I remember, like, they had conversations about this where a little known was like, no, it's just gonna, our roles are gonna reverse. Like, I'm the one, I'll be the one that takes more care of you than, because you take care of me now. And, like, I like that they, so really, like, it time jumped, like, three months and 20 years, because we got the four year jump and then the 16 year gap. So that was really, that was good. I didn't expect that. Also, we didn't get a wedding, so, which makes you happy. So we didn't have to see a wedding on screen. We just, just show them living their lives. I appreciate that. And I like that they I have... Do, yeah, I don't like watching weddings because yeah. I find them redundant. Yeah, it is weird and boring. Yeah, exactly. So I like that instead they're like, let's have them 16 years later come back, like as their tradition, yeah. they come back to this and they reenact their little proposal of happiness thing, which is really cute. And 100% something they would do. Like, it would be Little Nung's idea and Big Nung would just go along with it. Correct. And then, <laughs> but secretly also love it. Yes. Yeah. And like one year, little known was like, we don't have to go this year. Like, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> We're going. What do you mean? We yeah. do this every year. We're going. I'm Get sure, in the car. I'm pretty sure they own that property, hence the photo on the wall of like mm-hmm. her graduation photo. Yeah, that was really cute. I wasn't, okay, again, like I wasn't expecting the happiness to, to just like it just, see go up. I, yeah, it was, it was an upward slope the whole way. Like, unlike Gap, where it was just like, depression <laughs> like, oh my gosh yeah because it were, was a roller they coaster. were broken up in the last I know. episode I know. it was so crazy it was yeah that was more of an emotional roller coaster and this was just like upward happiness which like again with blank you never know what to expect no i didn't expect that that was gonna be way more dramatic and it wasn't it was actually just really sweet and beautiful and I really love their relationship at the end of the day. It's very, like, solid. Like, yeah, they they got problems and shit, but, like, the two of them had a very solid relationship the entire time mm-hmm. and actually communicated, and it was great. I agree. Also, just all the Sam scenes are hilarious. I'm pretty sure she just got ditched to the hospital and, like, nothing never went back for her. <laughs> so Sam saying there were two coffees and a bag of clothes, and she was there for, like, a day. And then the mod insert at the end was really <laughs> funny with the game. She's oh like, my gosh! Oh, you're hilarious. dead now, Sam. That was so. It's like, funny. let me see. You're dead. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> They're so fucking funny. I'm glad. I'm glad they made the choice to put the use them as the comic relief because, like, they are really funny. Like, Mon and Sam are really funny when they're not like going through their drama. <laughs> they're they're fucking funny. hilarious. So I enjoyed that. Yui was a pointless character. Yes. At the end of the I day, I agree. Absolutely pointless. I feel like we could have had more. With Yui, like, conversations just about, like, being queer and, like, the generational stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, you could have conversations like that, but, like, whatever. They're like, no. No drama. And it's, like, fine. Yeah, lesbian drama. And I'm I'm surprised folk actually stayed in their lives the whole time. Yeah. That was also, I didn't see that coming. I thought he was going to, like, phase out of it once she graduated. But I think that was really a cute touch, too, to tie up his story. Something I wish we could have seen was, like, the entire family together for a holiday. Yeah, that would have been cute. I mean, we saw that, like, little Nung and her grandmother and the mom patched Because, like, the other thing, too, is, like, the grandmother and Pengfa, like, they never patched up their relationship. So, like, it also, unfortunately, took this tragedy with little Nung to, like, get them closer, you know? Yeah. So, it seems like that patched But, yeah, it would have been cute to have, like, a family dinner with, like, Nung there and yeah like, and, and cooked for them unfortunately that chet as well unfortunately chet yeah. unfortunately we had his resolution <laughs> i didn't need that and that was the first one so we get that out of the way nobody cares about this <laughs> we're, go, we're, go, we're gonna get him out of the way folk and then like the, the women that we care about at the end yeah. we never got the scene with a young and her mom Bonding. Oh over. my god. Yeah, also missed opportunity. Where the hell was that? Seriously. Seriously. Where was um, the conversation between Pinkfa and Lil Like that Rung that would about have been a big great Rung. ending scene oh as well. God. She's hot. I'd be like, I know. <laughs> where was that? That was like Because no, I don't no one was told it? little Numb that yet. Yeah, like where was their conversation about this? And how does that not come up now? Because Big Nung and Little Nung are, like, super close. Like, does that never come up between the, just the two of them? Be like, so your mom was also into me. 
Not only was your dad trying to marry me, your mom was also yeah, trying to wife me like, in high school. I feel like Little Nell would have brought up like the marriage thing, like the the engagement, and then like, that would her been face, bit, mom. But it would have been no, no, um, the oh. engagement with her dad. So like, yes. bring that up, and then yeah, like yeah, your mom was into me too. <laughs> no, I I just yeah, I feel like once Little Nell knows that information, she will, would rub that in her mother's face forever. She would never let that go. <laughs> Anyway, very cute. Uh, oh no, she would be at the dinner table like, yeah, guys, I got the girl. <laughs> I'm the queen now. I'm pretty sure they live in the palace by themselves. Also, like, I would have liked to have seen a scene of them living in the palace together for like a hot minute before yeah. we go to the beach. Because Little Nug has been trying to U haul into that, into Nun's house since she met her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let her, let her U haul finally. Hilarious. She's like, can I live with you now? Like, she wakes up from the coma and she's like, can I move in now? I've been trying to move in the whole show. <laughs> oh my god. It would have been funny closer. if we had a moving truck. The rainbow one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was a cement truck. It's but... fine. You could throw stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mom can go track that shit down. Anyway, that was Blank. Blank was amazing. Thanks for coming on this journey with us if you're still watching this rambling bit at the end. Uh, Full reaction video will be on Patreon. Yes. Put the highlights. We should have said. I'll put this in the. Comments. I didn't know this was going YouTube. Hi YouTube. I didn't realize we're YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, we we agree. I, I guess we so. talked. Anyway, yeah, anyway. The, the highlights will be on YouTube. Correct. Um, probably, and full reaction on Patreon and all episodes of blank. Yes. All yes. episodes of blank. All blank episodes of blank. Reactions. Us, yes, reactions specifically. Are on Patreon. Correct. Right. They're on Patreon. We will have discussions where we like obviously we have a lot to say about the show, so we're just gonna be talking about it because there's just so much to say because it's so fun. Uh, if there's any other shows you want us to watch, react to, just let us know in the comments. Thank you for suggesting blank. This was one of the most fun shows I've ever watched. And we had so much fun watching it together, so I hope you guys had fun with us. Episode four is my favorite. Like season two. All of it's so good, though. Truly, it's all I so just, good. I know it's hard to pick a favorite. Be, I mean, I can, I can see my, I can see my reaction for four. So, which is pretty cool. That's why I really like these reaction videos. You get to relive your first moments of seeing it. Uh, there's a lot of screaming. You're just never ready for that episode. No, you're just not. And ready it, for that's it. why I love it. Yeah, I also wasn't ready for two hundred one. There was a lot of screaming. When I first saw that episode, too, because wow, that was not expecting any of that. The good, the bad, and the what the hell is this? Very fun episode. I was like, hey, we'll watch it again because we're going to do discussions after this. Yeah. So, anyway, so thank you guys, and until next time, keep hydrating for Lesbian Jesus and getting it up all over the place. Bye. Bye. And with that, we've been Big Gay Energy. If you like this episode, check out all our other episodes right here on YouTube. Please like, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more amazing super gay content.